What's up, YouTube family? Happy Thursday. Yeah, tomorrow's Christmas Eve. Hope you're all having a great day. I'm on lunch. I got some fried chicken wings. And this is a first because I've never had sweet potatoes before, but the homegirl was like, you want to split some sweet potato fries with me? And I was like, yeah, not really, but I guess. So I'll be trying something different on the channel. Got the Christmas music playing in the background. Hopefully I don't get in trouble for playing a little bit of Christmas music that you can barely hear, but you never know nowadays. Sweet potato fry. I'm just going to try it like it is and then try it with ranch. Mm. Mm. These burnt crispy ones are pretty good. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, I don't love it, but I don't hate it. The, mm, I love the crunchiness. It's just the middle. The texture in the middle, I don't know, it just throws me off. I mean, it tastes just like a sweet potato. It's got a great crunch. That's not bad. If I have to rate the sweet potato fries, I mean, they're probably different other places. I give them a good six and a half. Now, you know what? I'd say seven. Seven out of ten, everybody. The chef right here, I'm at work, my boss. Mmm. make some of the best fried chicken I've ever had besides like my mom's and my Gigi's mm. this is so damn popular because every Thursday is um fried chicken day or fried chicken Thursday and we sell out I'm not even joking we sell out it's ridiculous We get over 60 to go orders on just fried chicken and then pack the house down to come and eat fried chicken because we're open like if you don't want fried chicken you can get whatever you want it's just it's fried chicken night we already get orders from 12 until closing you know before closing of just fried chicken we do the mashed potatoes for sides um it's mashed potatoes biscuit you can even get Whatever you ask for. Mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, fried chicken, your biscuit. You can get it with a salad. It's all damn good. Sorry, everybody. I'm hungry. Since I've been working out and building up on my cardio, I've been hungry. And I'm trying to build up my weight. Because I'm pretty sure big boy, big boy that I'm fighting, Andre. I'm just, I'm just nicknaming him Andre the Giant, everybody. And that's no disrespect because I grew up watching Andre the Giant. And I even watched a documentary, even the one that his daughter did too. I watched all the documentaries on Andre the Giant. He was a freak of nature. Had one of the biggest hearts. One of the most nicest people ever. And that's when I, just from what I've seen of the big guy in Texas. Same thing. 
You can tell that guy's so nice. But I think a lot of it is, he's going to be the tallest person I've ever fought. But I fought in people that were 400, 300, 400 pounds. Moved around him like nothing, but that's when I was boxing. I've only been training for three weeks. I'm training by myself. I tried training with a couple people from work. Not even weights. I'm just doing my cardio that I do. For what I'm training is what I used to do when I boxed. Because I told you I back in my other videos, I trained, you know, Timothy Bradley. My trainer was Joel Diaz and Antonio Diaz. And then um, their brother, Julio Diaz. We would go and box with their fight. I, I've been around professionals enough to know I'm going to do just fine against the majority of these guys in these underground fights. It's like riding a bike. All I'm trying to work on is my reflexes, my footwork. You got your power or you don't. And not only do I have power, I can take a punch better than the average person. But that helps growing up being, you know, beaten by your stepdad and shit. You kind of grow a tolerance to pain and you get leather skin. It is what it is. I guarantee you, he's 18 and 0, right? I guarantee you, at least 11 of them were are they already lost the fight before they walked into the, the ring. Well, the problem is with a lot of people that don't have heart is they get intimidated very fast. I'm not one of those people. I don't care how big the challenge. I mean, come on. I drove to Texas, at Denton, Texas, in almost 20 hours. Granted, I wasn't prepared for the cold, didn't have that much money, but I still went because I love to fight. Some people know when to quit. People might, people like me, we just don't know when to stop. I watched a lot of Marky Rossi, Rocky Marciano videos because he was my favorite fighter growing up. And I see myself a lot like that. My fighting style. Like if Rocky Marciano's fighting style and Muhammad Ali's fighting style had a baby. And Joe Frazier taught that baby how to throw power shots. That's like me. Because I used to be able to move like Ali. Like a butterfly. And I used to sting like a bee. Like Rocky Marciano. But my... I was a lot like Joe Lewis. I kept going, I kept going, I kept going. Joe Frazier. Marciano fought Joe Lewis. I meant Joe Frazier. If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, look at the all three fights with Ali and Frazier. All three of those fights... Sorry, but I'm eating and talking. A lot of people try to think, oh, let me do the Philly show like Floyd. Let me try to move around like Pacquiao, which nobody really can because Pacquiao is a freak of nature. Everyone tries to emulate all these new generation fighters. I don't. I emulate a lot of the old school fighters. You all will see. And there's a reason why I'm not putting training videos or anything like that up yet. I'm waiting until after I get my first fight out of the way. And then, because after my first fight, it's going to be, you know, obviously posted so the whole world could see it. But then after your first fight, everyone's going to be like, okay, that's how he fights. That's his style. Okay. Pretty much given them. So after the 16th, I'll start posting training videos. But anyways, yeah, a couple people from work, I tried to train with them in cardio. Let me quit on me. Said they couldn't handle it. And I'm like, but I'm not even in shape. I'm coming off the couch, but when you've got that heart and determination and that will to not quit and that excitement, that drive, that fire, you can achieve anything. I 
I'm most likely going to lose this fight. But it's the excitement for the challenge. Because how many of you that are fighters, not, not the average person, but how many of you that are fighters can say that you fought somebody that was six foot nine, undefeated? Possibly a future champion in an organization. I'm too old to be going to, you know. I'm too old to start a actual boxing career. You know, I'm not no Jake Paul. I have no name. And that's another thing. I'm all natural. But Pauls aren't natural. I still know I'd be... I still know I'll beat their asses. Proper training. Proper everything. I know what I'm capable of. But then again, they're in their early 20s, so they have a bright future ahead of them. I don't think Jake Paul's going to fight that much longer. I think he's going to stop soon and start promoting, which is good because... With the way he's paying a lot of these fighters, it's a lot more than these, promo these greedy ass promotions are doing. So I'll give him that. Yeah, I'm not buff. I'm not shredded. I'm nothing. I'm just in shape. It's funny because a couple of the new people here, they're trying to make fun of me because of my shirt. And shout out to my homie Angel. And this is really true too. And I never really, because you know, I'm such a nice guy and I have such a big heart and some big fucking hands. Sorry, I didn't mean, you know, just, I'm just saying everybody. I love to fight. They're like, oh, look at this guy. He looks, he looks like a cholo and this and that, but he's all soft. I wasn't in the kitchen at this time. I haven't even come in to work yet. The homie Angel that works here. He's like, you guys are fucking up. Sorry for my language, but that, yeah, that's what he said. He said, you guys are effing up because one thing that the other employees, that's why I have a lot of respect from like a lot of the female employees that didn't like me. Now they're all over here kissing my ass. They took my kindness for weakness and that backfired badly. Same thing. I always warning these guys. Like you, like, yeah. And then first, then he's like, why don't you tell him that to his face? I came in early real quick to get my check. Then I left to go cash it. And then I came back. But they saw me what I looked like. They thought it was like soft that somebody looks like me it was all holidayed out and stuff. But I do it for my kids. My kids wanted me to wear this, so I wore it. At the end of the day, I'm a dad, so... Mmm. Fried chicken's a 10 out of 10. I don't think this has been done on YouTube before. Ranch sweet potato and ranch fried chicken. Mmm. Wow. This is damn good. I only have like 20 more seconds, everybody. My phone didn't cut off. Hope you all have a great night. Great day. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas.